In this video tutorial, we will look at how we can organize our code system in MaxQDA. In principle, you can create new codes via these buttons or via the shortcut Alt N. All codes that we create in our MaxQDA projects are collected in this window, the Codes window. Here we can arrange the already created codes hierarchically. To subordinate a code to another code, i.e. to make it a subcode, we drag the code directly onto the other code. To move a code to a higher level, we drag the code under another code. And to combine two codes, including the coded segments, into one code, we drag the code onto this button. We can also move or copy the coded segments of a code by right-clicking on the source code, selecting the corresponding option from the context menu, and then pasting the segments into the target code. The numbers to the right of the codes show us how often the respective code was applied to our material, i.e. how many segments were coded with this code. If we collapse a code with subcodes here, the coded segments of the subcodes are added up after the respective main code. To assign all subcodes of a code to a new code, we right-click on the code and select Copy Subcodes. We can then paste these subcodes again by right-clicking, but this only copies the codes themselves, not the coded segments. We can also assign a color tag to each code in our code system by simply right-clicking on the code and then either selecting a standard color or defining a custom color. Codes that are not hierarchically related can also be inserted at a different location in our code system by activating the codes and then right-clicking to move them. If we right-click on a code, we can also sort the respective subcodes alphabetically or by frequency. Further information, such as the creation date, can be displayed in the table view. Now I can resort the codes by clicking on one of the columns or filter out certain codes by right-clicking here. If we want to rearrange our code system outside of the existing hierarchical system, there are several options available to us. Firstly, we can work with code sets. With code sets, we can create an alternative order of our codes without changing our actual code system. To do this, we first activate the codes that we want to group together in a set and then create a new code set here. The codes that have already been activated are automatically inserted into a new set. Via drag and drop, you can add new codes to a code set at any time. Now, we can easily activate the codes contained in a set by activating the entire set. With the help of creative coding, we can also rearrange our codes on a graphical interface. To begin with, we drag all the codes we want to rearrange onto the workspace. As with a mind map, we can then link the codes together, defining codes as subcodes, and thus creating hierarchical relationships. We can also add new codes and merge codes by holding down the ALT key. The changes we have made this way are transferred to our code system as soon as we exit Creative Coding. We can export the codes or the code system or the appendix of a research report, for example, by using the Codebook report, which we can find in the New Reports tab. This report can be customized and creates an overview of the code system as well as a list of all codes including the assigned code memos. And that's it. We wish you all the best for your project. 您的直觉,我们的软体 Cheer Chain Enterprise distributes and sells software with the aim of offering clients guidance.
When choosing software, as well as technical support, 